Okay, for breakfast, I had a cup of strawberries, three Canadian bacons, and two eggs, and those pancakes, those two pancakes are four points for both of them. They are birch benders, they are uh, keto pancakes. I've got sugar-free syrup, and I'm having some of this, I think it's called like ooh la la, or something like that, um, raspberry green tea, really good. And um, I am going to be prepping here some vegetable soup. This is actually, I put it in my tracker and it is a zero point soup. Um, it's a vegetable soup and I'm using this to fill me up. <laughs> I've got one leek, I've got it cut in half. I've got a few stalks of um, celery here they are gonna get cut up, one whole onion that's gonna get cut up. Um, and then about five carrots that are gonna be cut up. And I have some frozen garlic. I do buy a bunch of garlic and then I freeze it. Um, I only have a small bit of zucchini. That's probably going to get me about a cup that I'm going to chop up. I'm going to use probably one of those green beans, not both of them. One can of tomato sauce, um, some diced tomatoes with Italian seasonings in them, and a um, Great Northern Beans can of beans. And then I'm using free-range chicken broth. They're low sodium. Now, beans, you can tell they um, they don't have that as many carbs as I thought. There's like 11 per half cup serving. And um, then they have the fiber in there that you can minus from that for the net carbs. So I am gonna be using both of these boxes of chicken broth. Um, and instead of rice or potatoes, I'm gonna be using some riced cauliflower that comes in these packets. I'm probably just going to use one of these packets. But I like maybe the way that it looks when you add um, rice to a soup, but I don't wanna add the carbs. So I'm gonna stick with the cauliflower for now and that should come out just fine. All right, let's get started. Oh, before we do that, I wanted to show you, I'm using um, some garlic, which I obviously need to get more, and some smoked paprika. Uh, probably one teaspoon of the garlic and two of the smoked paprika. So I'm gonna start out by sauteing in one teaspoon of olive oil all of my vegetables, and I'm gonna use the Instant Pot to cook this. You can do this on the stove top and just cook them in you know, this soup until it's done to your liking, but I love using the Instant Pot because it is so much faster and it kind of contains the smell within the pot so that the house, whole house doesn't smell like vegetables. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in the garlic. One thing I wanted to say about the garlic, when you freeze it and then you defrost it, it's not really pungent anymore. It's really sweet and super mellow. So I can add a ton of it in there and it doesn't overpower or taste overly garlicky. So now I'm gonna add in, after all of the veggies have been sauteed and they're a little tender, I'm gonna put in the green beans, I'm gonna put in the northern beans. Um, and great northern beans is one of the lower in carbs if you're thinking about sneaking in a few beans. I'm gonna put in the um, tomatoes and the tomato sauce. And then um, next is gonna go in, I believe it was the broth. Oh no, wait, what is that? Oh, that's the cauliflower. <laughs> I'm like, was that cheese? Okay, so now I'm gonna be putting in the, um, the broth next after I kind of mix this up for just a second. Now I'm not putting any meat in here or anything that's gonna raise the points. And you can really play with this. You can get put some Morocco, Moroccan seasonings in it. I mean, you can really spice it up however you really like it, but this is a really good low point soup. Um, what I did for the kids was when this was done is I heated some up for them and I added potatoes and meat in their portion. Um, and then Honey and I are just gonna eat this uh, just like this and that's gonna help fill us up if I add it to maybe uh, my dinner with a sandwich or maybe, you know, or anything that I'm having, really. It's almost just like having a soup before your dinner. And that's kind of what they do in a restaurant anyway, right? You get a super salad and it kind of helps to fill you up a little bit more and take up some of the room. Um, that's the purpose of this soup. So look at that. It looks really beautiful, all those little jewel colors. All right, so I did add some cracked pepper. I'm gonna add some spices, two teaspoons or so of salt. Usually I wait till the end to salt it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit in now. I'm putting in my garlic and my two, tables, two tablespoons, two teaspoons of um, smoked paprika, and I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. 
and I am going to sneak a few more herbs in here. I have um, some dried herbs de Provence and I'm just going to put in maybe a couple of teaspoons of that in here. Um, and I'm also going to add in half of this kabocha squash cut up and we're going to put that in the Instapot and hit the soup and broth button for 20 minutes. Okay, now I have got to make a lunch. We are going to be going to the park and I need to make an egg salad sandwich here. So I've got a quarter cup of low fat cottage cheese, two teaspoons of olive oil mayo, a quarter cup of celery and two tablespoons of pickles. I love pickles and two eggs. I'm going to use a little garlic uh, powder, some pepper and some salt to taste. And so um, I'm also going to grab a couple of these keto slices here to take with me. So I'm just going to mix all of that up. And um, this really, the cottage cheese really helps to keep my points low. And it gives you an extra boost of protein too. I'm also going to, see how I packed it this way because I didn't want the, the um, sandwich to squish out when I bit it. And I've got a quarter, um, is it a quarter of an ounce of pork rinds and a cup of my zero point soup. And that's what I'm going to pack in this little soup holder. And um, this is really handy because you could put crackers or something in the top portion of it. And I'm gonna take that with me. Okay, so after lunch, I ended up having half of a Quest Bar. My husband brought me a Diet Dr. Pepper, which I absolutely love. Hi guys, just got my um, strength training in and I am working on my um, 30 minutes of movement right now on the treadmill. All right, for dinner, I love these carb counter tortillas. I can have two for one point, um, and I've got that. I've got pepper jack cheese. I've got one slice between the two of them and one ounce, one ounce of meat, of ground beef, and some veggie, uh, veggie soup. And my wonderful hubby made me a coffee after dinner. All right, look at this. I've got all my check marks, guys. I'm so happy. Hi, guys. All right, checking in. I got all my check marks today. Um, if you would like to join the challenge that we're doing this month, it's going to be in the description bar below. We're following seven different points. I did all my tracking. I got my, I said my blue dot range. Um, I got all my water, got good sleep, gonna get good sleep tonight, hopefully. Um, and my goodness, what else? Everything, I got my, I today was a um, strength training day, so I got that in. I got my 30 minutes of movement in today. I had some wonderful conversations with our beautiful community and was able to encourage other people and they encouraged me. So thank you for that. You guys really encouraged me with your comments. Thank you so much. Um, and then again, please, if you would just like the video before you leave, that would really help the algorithm. Um, so anyway, I am just really glad with the way that it went today. Now the soup that I made was really helpful in taking up space, filling up space inside of my stomach and giving me a lot of fiber and fullness. And really, you know, I, I'm gonna be making more soups and salads to do that. Um, there's a channel called Cooking Around, and if I could find his channel, I'll put it in the description bar. But I remember seeing a video that I think he's since taken down, but it was a gentleman who lost a lot of weight, like, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds, and he did that by just always having um, a really low calorie vegetable soup on hand and he would just fill up on that all the time and he lost it all very quickly doing that um, and I thought I think so that's a really good idea soups are a really good idea plus we're moving into the cold season so um, it's just the right time to do something like that so I'm going to try to always have one now um, I wanted to talk to you for just a second about uh, beans um, and winter squashes because I'm on the diabetic plan for WW and so and, and I'm doing low carb the one thing that I noticed was um, I have now I did select uh, that I liked beans but it did let me have them. Beans are a free food for me on my plan, even following the diabetic plan. They're still free, but winter squashes are too. And these two are usually things that like low carbers 
pretty much, you know, don't really go for. We kind of stay away from those because they're higher carb. But um, in the amounts that I'm using them, like I'll put a little bit in the soup and um, like the one can of beans that goes in there. I mean, my goodness, you can get like 14 to 20 cups uh, servings out of that soup that I made today. So the chances of you having an overage of beans, the beans per serving is going to be like 11 grams of carbs. And then you take away like four or six grams of fiber from that. That doesn't leave you a whole lot. And in a bowl of that soup, you're probably not even going to have one fourth of that serving. You're going to have maybe a tablespoon of beans, if even. So it's really a no count. Um, and in the meantime, it's just a nice little bit of fiber, you know, so I'm not going to worry about that. If I use it that way, I think I'm still going to go ahead and consider that low carb because it is in counting the carbs. It is low carb. Um, so another thing I need to watch if I work beans in that way or, you know, a squash that's maybe a little higher in carb is to really check my blood sugar and see how that reacts to it. And that's really going to tell me whether or not I really want to include that or not. And I'm sure it's just going to be fine. There's a lot of fiber in those things. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that for just a second because it used to be when I did low carb, I would totally cut that stuff out, totally. And that's why I'm not saying that I'm keto now because I want a little bit more flexibility there. So I do like the low carb um, you know, kind of spectrum uh, rather than the keto. Even though I will eat keto foods on occasion because they are um, helpful on a low carb diet. Uh, but anyway, so I wanted to welcome you here. If you're new, I hope you stay and I hope that you can glean some things uh, from the videos. I am spending some time cleaning up my channel and sorting things out and organizing a little bit better and developing playlists from all of the recipes that I have, something I've been needing to do for a while. Um, and that way you can find things easier and I can find things more easily as well. So anyway, let me know below how this day went for you. Was it hard? Were there any challenges today? Did you have anything that you're really proud of? And don't be shy because we want to celebrate your victories, no matter if you think they're small or not. They're a big deal to us, and we want to be there to encourage you and help you through this. Okay, guys, let's get going. And tomorrow is beautiful Tuesday. So let's have a really wonderful and productive Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.